we would like to introduce you the model update of the two scooter models hitting the market by the end of the year. We managed to change all the proportions, like we could uh, lift the shoulder line from about here to have bigger shoulders, to have it more mature looking. As you see here, you know, every line is continuing in the next part. Now the headlight is much more integrated to the front panel. The, all together we used uh, the form language from sports bikes, like from our double R. Mm -hmm. This was definitely an inspiration. The Valencia Orange, that's the so-called lead color. Is there any other colors in the range? But of course, there are also like typical colors like black and silver and white. Also, we do have new instrument dials on the inner side and all the grain parts show a new structure. We're very proud to have a brand new design for the handlebar cover. It's much more valuable than before. Uh, it's inspired from the automotive world. It's much more sophisticated now. We have grain parts on the outside. We have galvanized brackets. And in the middle where the BMW logo is, we have a glossy black, nice surface. The rear light mm -hmm. that we integrated here, it's inspired from our top tour. It's a full LED rear light. As you see here, it has the three position lights with light guides and we got uh, inspired by this uh, horizontal line and, and continued it into the side panel as you see here. SVA stands for side view assist. It's a comfort feature. It supports the rider. The rider of course has the responsibility to check the traffic situation around him. Side view assist is like a blind spot detection. That means while you ride on the road, whenever any car or whatever approaches you, you get a warning signal in the mirror. And as soon the car has left your area, the signal is gone also. We as BMW Motorrad, we are the very first ones to offer a system like this in the motorcycle market. So we are the pioneers. We extended our standard equipment for the two scooters. Standard equipment means X factory. So far we had ABS, anti-lock braking system, and now we added ASC, which means anti-skid control. That's just an additional safety feature under really difficult road conditions, for example, slippery roads or so. The daytime riding light now has got a new feature. When you enter a tunnel, it switches automatically to the headlight and when you leave the tunnel again, it turns on the daytime riding light. So it's just a more comfortable feature and it works pretty well. Especially on the engine, we did two main changes, CVT and clutch. The customer benefit is a smooth and really powerful acceleration when you pull off at the traffic light and you're very agile in the mid-speed area. There is another important feature to talk about, the exhaust system. On one hand, we should meet all the regulations, noise, emission. It shouldn't be too heavy, the entire system, and of course, we want to have a nice sound. And finally, it should look cool. And this was in fact quite a challenge because we had to increase the volume. That's also why we introduced this double A shape, also to show it's a two-cylinder engine. Then we added this black end cap to make it look short and not longer than the vehicle. And of course, we could find a very steep angle that makes it look really sporty. We also modified the kinematics of the main stand for an easier operation. There is really very nice details. For example, the GT symbol here on the rider's backrest, or when you look on the, on the sport seat here, we have a new stitching. That's just some more nice details and it's really beautiful to look at. If you sum up all the technical features, all the new design features you showed us, that's more than a model update. That's even more like a new scooter version. By the way, I recently had the chance to have a test ride with those two scooters, and it's just amazing. It's pure fun. You should try it when you get a chance.